Hi guys, Trevor Olson here, brand ambassador for Badger Sports and Magazine, and I'm preparing for yet another fishing trip. And I have a few tips for you guys. Um, in the back of my mind, I'm starting to add up all the miles that I put on my boat trailer. And uh, you know, a couple trips, a, a trip to Green Bay this year uh, with my boat, uh, several trips to Northern Minnesota, or central Minnesota this year. Um, Hayward it several times last year. Madison uh, countless times. Uh, so I'm, I'm starting to add up the miles and, and uh, also the trips that I've taken locally. And myself being sometimes the only person that goes fishing, I'm actually backing my trailer in and, it, and my axles are actually under the water a lot longer than if you were to have two people that knew what they were doing. So. I guess it's in the back of my mind, you know, I'm going on another trip. I don't want to have issues on that trip. So I decided to, to check everything out. So there's a few tips that I can give you guys uh, that would maybe give you uh, a heads up on uh, maybe needing attention to your to bearings or seals. And one would be, without any tools needed, look underneath your uh, wheel well. You see this? This is a start of a, a little bit of grease splatter. You can look there. You can also look inside your wheels. Now I've already sprayed these with some engine degrease. You're trying to get some of that off. But uh, my, it's either that I had a little too much grease in it because every now and then, you know, everybody, a couple squirts of grease and uh, you're good to go, right? Before your trip, a couple squirts of grease on each side. You know, know knowing that I have bearing buddies. Um, not necessarily. Uh, Grease shouldn't come out, or very little. And maybe these aren't bad, but I'm just checking uh, for that attention. You know, checking that attention there. I've got another thing you can check as well that you can just use with your hands. So I have bearing buddies. Uh, they're they're basically a Shorelander brand, um, is for the trailer. But you can look for water in here look for water in there or you can use a big pliers and I'm gonna set this down quick and we're gonna look for discoloration uh, marine grease is generally a dark green or a dark blue well that's not green or blue and actually this doesn't look this side doesn't look too bad as you can see it's a it's a darker color, but if you look at the other side, it's a lighter color. Now I promise you, I put the same grease in this, but this side appears that it's had water intrusion, and water over time will take this bear these bearings that are on the inside that actually sit on there and then there's a race in the hub and these bearings will eat get eaten away by some of that water intrusion and you got to look really close inside of these for pitting discoloration uh, this one doesn't look too bad but if you have any sort of heat and uh, water sorry water is not a great uh, I guess it's not a great lubricant, let's be honest. Uh, that's why we run marine grease. We run marine grease for that reason. Um, it helps keep water from, I guess, building into it or it mixing with it. Um, oil or uh, chemicals like oil, uh, grease, petroleum products, they kind of resist that anyway, but there's added properties to a marine grease that help kind of reduce that even more. So before my long trip to Hayward, our five hour trip to Hayward, um, I am going to change the seals and check all of my bearings and re-grease. We should be good to go for probably another couple years, but there's a tip that you can use right now um, and there's people that will do it themselves. I do it myself. Honestly, the races are, or the the seals are probably about ten bucks a piece. 
Uh, the bearings might be 10 to 15, maybe $20 a piece. Um, and if you get all the right parts, put it all back together, it's honestly not that hard. Um, the hardest part would be changing the races. If you have a socket set or a race kit, you might need a seal puller to pull the old seal out. Um, all those are fairly inexpensive and if you plan on having a boat or any trailer for that matter for an extended period of time, they're worth the money to have it because you could have this done at a, you know, a trailer shop or a marine dealer or whatever. And I'm gonna assume that it's gonna cost you anywhere from 200 to 500 dollars, and I can tell you I'll have this done today in about 50 bucks or less. Especially if I don't need to replace the bearings, I just need to replace the seals and put some more grease in. So that's a tip from you. It's Trevor Olson signing off from Badger Sportsman Magazine, and have a safe trip, safe trailering, and uh, you know make sure you check your air pressure and your tires, and I hope you get to your destination and catch that big fish you've been hoping for.